Hey there and welcome to my video. This is Laura Lynn with Keep Inking Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you have seen that I have been sharing quite a bit of using the stamp set and kit from the uh, October 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit. I just think this is a fabulous kit. I hope that you're having as much fun with it as I am. So I have been sharing and will be sharing some Christmas cards using this stamp set. I hope you can see all of the image on here, images on here. I love this Santa, but there's also the Santa with the sleigh and there's lots of sentiments. Just a really, really fun kit. So here are some of the cards that I've been making and have been sharing on my Instagram. If you are not a follower, I do encourage you to find the links in the description box below. Go ahead and follow me. I do post daily on my Instagram and uh, Facebook page. So these are all cards that I've been making. There's some Wink of Stella shimmer on there. Hopefully you can see that. And I just love that Santa face. Isn't that so cute? And I have the iridescent rhinestones on this one. I think that one might be my favorite card. And then here is just sentiments with a little bit of an embossing folder. So anyway, I have been doing a lot of Christmas cards lately. So I wanted to today step away from the Christmas and do something a little bit different. Plus I need to make uh, birthday cards. I'm kind of behind on birthday cards, so I need to replenish my stash of birthday cards. So today I'm going to be using quite a few ink colors. I'm gonna be using Crumb Cake, Crushed Curry, Soft Suede, Blackberry Bliss, Poppy Parade, and Old Olive. So I'm gonna set those aside. And the stamp sets I'll be using are the Artistically Inked Stamp Set. I just love these, I think they're called like the alcohol ink looking uh, images, which I just love. And then I'm gonna be using the Peaceful Moments for the Happy Birthday. I do use this Happy Birthday sentiment all the time. You know that I do if you follow me at all, but I just decided to change it up a little bit and use this particular stamp set. So to begin with, I have a sheet of, let me get these aside here. I have a sheet of our very vanilla cardstock. Are you like me and always reach for the basic white? I feel like my very vanilla gets neglected. And since it's the fall season, I really do kind of like the uh, more subdued look of the very vanilla. So I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock that is eight inches by 10 and a half inches. And that dimension will make sense a little bit later in the video. And I have my stamps already mounted on uh, clear blocks around here, but I'm going to begin with this uh, kind of randomly splotchy image, and I'm going to use my crumb cake ink for that. And I am going to roughly stamp down the middle of this piece of cardstock in both directions. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of a, a basic guide. So I'm just going to ink up and stamp this image kind of down the center and they can overlap or not overlap. It's not really imperative. This is just kind of giving me a guide of where I'm going to do my stamping. So it's not quite in the center, it's a little bit low, but like I said, it will be okay. This is just the beginning of it. Okay, let's put that aside. And next I'll bring in my crushed curry with the large floral image. So I'm gonna ink this up. And I'm gonna go, again, follow that center line that I have, kind of going on either side. That looks good, kind of spread out there. Next, I'll bring in my soft suede to do my flower centers for these floral flowers that I just did. So I'll do the centers of each of these flowers. Okay, next color is the Blackberry Bliss, and this is for the next size smaller flower there. And I'm going to go in between the sunflowers with this one. And I'm just gonna kind of fill in. We're just adding color here. And we'll be adding more, but that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, and then I will bring in Poppy Parade for these little trio of flowers, just for another little pop of color there. And I'm just gonna add color kind of wherever I think it needs it. I don't know. I think that looks good. We can always add more later. 
I'm just kind of getting the, the basics down here. And then finally, I want to add some leaves. So again, I'm going to try to fill in the gaps. And for the leaves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp, and then I'm going to stamp again without re-inking and just add a little bit of green here and there. I like this double stamping because it really kind of fills in the area nicely with this old olive color. Again, it's kind of like more of a fall color, which is what I was going for with the very vanilla color. Uh, I think I'll add some more up here. Oh, and again, if we want to add more later in the next step, we can do that. So now that I have stamped my entire sheet, what I'm going to do now is bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut this in half in both directions. So I'm going to cut it in four inches. The long way. And then I'll cut each one of these in half at five and a quarter inches. So this is going to create four cards for me. So I've got four pieces. And then what I have done already is I have cut four card bases. One Blackberry Bliss, Crushed Curry, Old Olive, and Poppy Parade. And these are all going to go on these pieces like this. So see if you look at that and you decide, oh, it needs a little more something, then you can add more, like if it needed more green. At once you cut them up, you can decide that. So I'm gonna, these are all gonna go on each one of these card bases. And I just pulled the colors that I stamped with to choose the card bases. Okay, so now we need to add the sentiment. So like I said, I, I brought the birthday in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll pull in the color for the card base. So like this card base is gonna be Blackberry Bliss. So then I need to decide, do I want to mount the card in this way with the birthday in this direction or do I want it over here? And I think that for this one, I want to put the happy birthday in this direction. So I'm going to stamp happy birthday right there. Then I'll set, that, that'll be that card. I'll set that aside. I need to clean my stamp. So I have my Simply Chamois. I'll clean my stamp. Close up this ink pad. And I have old olive, so let's find the old olive card. So again, do I want it down in the bottom or in the top? I think I want it in the bottom. So this one I'll do down here, just like that. Isn't that pretty? So that one is ready, so I need to clean my stamp again. And next is my Poppy Parade color. Okay, this one I think definitely is gonna go up there. So, and you can decide however you'd like, and you can change up the sentiment. Obviously, you can use any sentiment that you happen to have. Like I said, I needed to replenish my birthday cards, so that's why I'm doing birthday. There we go. Lovely. So clean it one more time before I do my crushed curry. I tend to like them in the bottom, don't I? There we go. 
Now I do think some of these especially are a little bit sparse. So there is this really cute little dotty image that is in the stamp set. So I think that before I assemble these cards, I am going to add a few little dots using the soft suede ink. So I'll ink this up and just add a bit of dots. I think that adds quite a bit. Then I will use my liquid glue and add liquid glue to the back. Make sure my, I know the top of the card and then I will glue this piece on. I love the liquid glue because it gives me time to move the piece around. And there's the finished card for that one, but we have more to do. So I'll bring in the next one. And again, I think that I will add just a few little dots here and there. I think it just adds so much. Now you don't wanna go overboard. It's really easy to do too many. I may have done too many on that one. And again, we'll glue this. Fold on the top, wiggle it around so it's nicely centered. So that's card number two. And we've got our old olive version. So again, I'll take this one, has a lot more of the images on there. So I probably don't need to put as many dots, but I'll just add a few here and there. I think that's good. And we'll add the glue. Fold it at the top. I want to make sure I don't put this on upside down. I have been known to do that. I don't know about you. And my last one is the Blackberry Bliss. And again, I will add some dotty dots. at the top. So I'll place this on here. And I think that is a really quick way to make four very pretty cards. And you can do this with any stamp set and any sent sentiment stamp set. I do happen to have I use this I use the same process in the same colors, but I made sympathy cards. So these are more, again, with the, the same exact process, same exact color, same exact stamp, except for the sentiment with sympathy. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you. I think this is a fabulous way to create cards in a hurry. I'm curious to know, leave a comment below if you've ever done this process before. Again, you start out with a piece of cardstock that is eight by 10 and a half. Do your stamping in the the four quadrants or the four lines and then uh, cut them up and put them on card bases. It's that easy. So thank you again so much for joining me. I hope that you learned something new and I hope you'll give this process a try. It's a great way to make cards. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.